Um, first things first is um, let's just copy the damage system to each of um, the boxes that we have in the, the scene as well as this box. Cool. So you want to make sure you put that on each one as well. So let's grab one of the boxes just so we don't have to worry about the um, that. Oh, okay. There's a dude. There is a dude. All right. So let's run back here. And my mouse is like way out of the scene right now. So all right. So let me just pause that. Um, so while we're getting running away from this dude, let's um, double check. Now where is he? Capsule. All right. So he's got five health left. So we've hit him once. So now let's um. Well, he's actually, he's trapped me now. So, um, let's just restart. So I'm going to hit him twice with the box. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so let me try and hit him twice. So, okay, that was, looks like once. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to take him down here. All right, all right. get my mouse back on the screen I can fix that up later all right damage done so we defeated the Spectre so that's our damage system all done as you know another little thing is that we can't go back up these steps but there's a um, there should be a little solution to this we can actually come in here and say slope limit and just pump that up to like 83 I think that's still not enough. We need to probably activate this guy again. All right. Oh no. All right. Now we've got this. Let me just see. Yeah. Well, I guess this a box is actually ninety degrees, so it needs to be like one hundred and twelve or something. I guess that makes sense logically so um let's have a another little squiz in here let's go back down otherwise you can just make more steps yeah so that's that 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 is working a bit more but yeah it's a bit a bit much so I, I would rather just probably leave this at like 45 and then in here just simply do this and then um that way there's actually a few more little steps in there for the for the character to to go up and down. It's the little things. <laughs> if a character can't get back upstairs, he's gonna be like, "Oh, what kind of game is this, guys? Can't even can't even go up the steps." Well, um, dude, there's some guys that make games, and we might have just not got around to it, so. <laughs> Um, let's just bring that down and bring this down and also bring this down okay theoretically it should be better let me just uh, tween this guy um, next thing I wanted to quickly show you was um, the how to set up the oops sorry sorry dude I actually followed you <laughs> is how to keep the mouse on the, the screen or actually lock it all right, so that, that stair there is probably a little bit high, but at least um, we're going up at like did, 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 did. <laughs> Excellent. All righty. Oh, wait, um, like one thing some people do is actually they put an invisible box over the stairs, so then the player kind of slides up and slides down, um, and then that stops the, the juddering um, happening. But uh, firstly, let me just show you how to lock the the mouse cursor. So let's um, just quickly create new FSM and let's say mouse and set mouse cursor. Let's hide the cursor and lock the cursor. So then you press play. Voila! Now your now your mouse um, doesn't go off the screen and you don't have to worry about it. So how excellent is that? So now you can actually, now I can play properly. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. One. Yeah. Two. 
Um, I might actually make it um, three hits. Three hits in your route is usually the <laughs> um, the thing that baseball brought to us. So let's um, give this 15. And having this kind of a system where the um, the damage actually comes from that get hit, it's um, really nice because that way different weapons can you can send to different events. <laughs> and this wasn't actually working because the damage AI wasn't actually on him. You see if I actually bring copy this and put it on this capsule. I mean, technically you wouldn't even have access to the boxes at this stage of the game because that was um, he'll be appearing before you you get to the boxes, but this can be just like quick target practice. So one, two, three, A, he's dead. All right, so um, that's pretty cool. Um, we could even probably test it on this guy while he's um. Oh no, he 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 has seen us. All right, oh, all right. One. Oh look, there's a new passageway. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Three. All right. I got rid of the spectre. All right, so that's that's cool. We won't be able to get back up there again. Um, let's just maybe fix that up. So we kind of get stuck on. I think it's this one. Uh, all right, let's just double check this. Okay. Oh no. Okay. 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 All right. Let's run this way. Double check it. It still looks like it's going to be a bit high. All right. So it's it's that stair. That's cool. Either way, I mean, it's just some stairs. That's <laughs> not really a game-breaking bug. But um, yeah. So I mean. We have created, basically in this whole two hour tutorial, we have created um, the jump scares, we've created object handling systems, we've created um, this other jump scare um, with a character that actually follows you and harasses you. Uh, we then created uh, the carrying the objects system which then um, damages the enemies so that way you can move on in your game. So let's just bring our player back for a little run through. Okay, got some boxes. Let me just turn off actually. Let me jump out of this quickly. Alrighty, so let's um let's give this a play. What I first want to do is just turn off the gizmos. Um, let's click maximize on play to give it a bit more of a experience. And all right, here we go. So there's some crates. Oh, okay. Wonder where this is gonna lead us. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Incredibly scripted response. Um, We've got some, some crates around here. That's pretty cool that you can kick them around. <laughs> Alright. Oh. oh, no, we didn't get rid of that. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, hello? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't touch me. Oh, whoa, there's a thing down here. Oh, man, he goes down steps. What is this? Alright. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, come on, yeah, 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 alrighty, crisis averted, so we have done it, we have defeated the evil capsule monster, so, um, alrighty, so that, that's, um, that's excellent, so well, that is basically, um, a horror framework, um, uh, what we can do now in probably the next um, tutorial 
another t- two hours of tutorial, we'll probably go more in depth. We'll have a look at setting up horror sounds, horror trigger sounds um, that kind of go inside of the um, these figure triggers. And then inside of that, we can actually expand our knowledge and have a look at actually designing environments. But I was actually thinking of actually doing a separate uh, tutorial series for that because that's actually quite a long-winded um, process because you have like the, the texturing, you have the modeling, you have um, doing UV mapping, and there's actually quite a lot of knowledge involved in all of that. So um, for my time and just like, because it takes me quite a long time to make these things, c- considering it takes about two hours to record um, and then editing. And so thank you so much for supporting this product. Um, of course, if you have any questions about it, you know, send, me a, send me an email. Um, but of course, uh, there's going to be definitely more content coming out soon. Uh, you'll find this whole scene and project pack uh, in the zip file um, with the tutor- tutorial uh, videos. So thank you so much for watching this whole series. And I look forward to sharing the next part with you. Thanks, guys.